Namdi Kano's kidnap. A well calculated plan by some few greedy beer friends living in Despera and Igbo governors. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my noble channel where I will tell you the truth the way it is. In the news today, we are here to expose some criminals who call themselves Biafrans living in Despera who collaborated with Hibo governors, not all to plan the kidnap of Namde Kano because of billions of dollars raised by British government and Nigerian government in collaboration with Ahmed Bulak Nibu. Namde Kano was a free gentleman who lost Biafra with his life. That was why he celebrated them. He was free with them. He sacrificed so many things for them. He gave them platform to sell. He gave them reason to leave. He stood by them. He made it possible for them to excel in the world. As he started the Biafra struggle from scratch, and he made it known to the world or the public. The United Nations, the EU, the Amnesty International, the Wapa was. But even after all this whole thing, so many of them were against him, especially in America. They deviated from the real fact that Mazen Namde Kano wants the way being of Bia France, both those in Despera, especially those living in Biafra land who have suffered so much in human. In human treatment by Nigerian government but as a human being he must make mistake somehow and the only mistake he made was to allow an entity into this struggle and that is what you are seeing today he allowed greedy entity into this struggle because those men and women who are somewhere in Despera, in the United States of America, who want him down by all means, no, he know them. And for this reason why they have to use someone. His kidnap was not in error. It was a planned game. But I am very surprised that today, those whom he sacrificed all those things for are against him. It's a very big shame. But time shall tell. The Biafra restoration is not a come on my mind that you eat anytime you like. Biafra restoration is something that must be achieved. But so many people in Despera are doing everything possible to stop the restoration of Biafra. They pretend that they are fighting for Biafra restoration, but believe me, they are canker warm into this struggle. They are sent to pity. All they clamor for is destruction of Mazen Namde Kano and destruction of IPUB. This is what they clamor for, and this is what they are playing. And for this reason, they play into the hand of Nigerian government who want to be after a struggle destroyed and squashed. And for this reason, British government paid them so much amount of money, including the ones that Buhari government paid to make sure that the downfall of Biafra struggle is achieved. Some of you don't understand what Mazen Namde Kano has gone through in life even before he was kidnapped he was under pressure I saw it coming the 
Those of you who have hand in the kidnap of Mazen and the Kano illegally from Kenya back to Nigeria, I curse you today, I curse your families. Wherever you are, the atrocities you committed against that gentleman who has not committed any crime, who has not done anything wrong today, I put you in the front to be destroyed. With tell us my, my body, you are gone forever. I am a man who believes so much in Almighty, even while I was in the world doing wrong things. I believe in getting rid of those who are evil and those who are good who remain alive to fight collectively. For the good things that the people want. Even while I was in the world, all these are the things I did. No good person will say that I have tampered with him. Because I investigate very well before going to action. People. Want Nam the Kano dead. They want him not to be released. You can see the northern coalition telling Ahmed Tinibu, whom they selected as the president of Nigeria, not to release him. You can see people like Hassan Dokubo, who collaborated also to sell his brother, telling Bula Tinibu not to release him. You can see so many people that they brought in front line to tackle IPUB, to destroy IPUB, because they know that when they destroy them, Nam the Kalu will no longer have a place to lay his back. He will be destroyed. He will be confused. By then, he will be left with no other choice, either to denounce Biafra or to die in DSS custody. This is the plan. But today, I lay cause in every of you, your families who contributed in this atrocity. But pretend to be fighting for Biafra struggle. You are going to be disgraced. Nemesis will come for you in this struggle. Something is going to happen that you will ask yourself is it because of this money that I collected? Is it why I am having this nemesis? The trees. The animals, the bushes, and the forest has ears and they are listening to me that I command right now that evil things will start happening to all those people who contributed in the kidnap of Mazen Nam the Kano, the atrocity they committed against him, and the suffering of the gentleman, all his suffering. The inhuman treatment against him, man, inhumanity to man, they are going to reap what they sow. Because this gentleman was for Biafra. He fought for Biafra. He gave Biafra everything that he owned. He lost so many things, including life, in this struggle. And today, I am pointing at every of you, I will not mention your names, who contributed in this atrocity, both with the medias who are selling this propaganda, including those of them in Nigeria, who want him there by all means. Your families will be in jeopardy. You will be destroyed because Almighty God has said so. He is a man sent by God Almighty to fight for this struggle. And anybody who is going contrary to what he believes will suffer for it. I know some of you don't believe in God. But if you don't believe in God, you must believe in so many things. And you have to believe with me with special arrangement. Devil can see God. There is something controlling the world that you do not understand. You may believe in one of them and that thing is going to fight you. Enough is enough. I made Nibu must listen to the Khan. He did not commit any crime. Since the court has said so. And the honest they should stop beating around the bush and tell me the truth. 
He has no right to continue to keep on Namde Kano in DSS custody. He has been set free by court of law. The same constitution that he claimed that the people met, that he should control the government and every other civilian and human being in Nigeria, if Bola Benitinibu and his predecessor continue to disobey that constitution, that means they are fake. They shouldn't be president of any country in the world. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra.